just tell you if uh, I'll just tell you if it starts like going off. Like if you gotta adjust. All right. Well. Uh... So all right, I, I, I hit record right now. I'm gonna turn mine's down again a little bit here. I'm not scared to touch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, right. okay. I, um, I, well, is this as good as it's gonna get? Yeah, I think so. It, <laughs> it, it actually, <laughs> it it actually sounds pretty good. Like there's there's a little bit of feedback, like a little bit of like a, but I think we got this. I think we got the title of our blog. Uh, our blog. Yeah, what is that? A little bit of feedback. A little bit of feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's I was, I was right. just talking about, I mean, thinking when we were texting how I think we could just record it, like me recording myself, you recording yourself, and then find a program where you can show them both at the same time. Uh-huh. So, that... It's like pre-production that, you know, we didn't really plan for, but I mean, yeah. Either way, it's, I mean, they don't need to see me right now. I I think that would be down the road type stuff. Like if you're talking about a camera recording your video, if that's what you mean, like if we're adding the video and we're gonna try to set it up to yeah, so we can see our we could, we could see the reaction in live. Yeah. Time. Yeah, but then I'm gonna have to clean my house, man. <laughs> They're gonna, Everybody's gonna see my my, uh, my dusty ass couch where I'm sitting right here. <laughs> well, you see I, my crush, my crusty ass shit. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, so. Um. Yeah. Well, well, we'll we'll get to that. We'll just kind of see how this goes. Like, all right. So, li- like I said, we're live here. We got the. I don't know if you can call it live. Uh, we're recording. The mics are hot. Uh. <laughs> this is our what do you, what do you call this our trial run? This is episode one or something. We're yeah, gonna... it's, a, it's like a pre-pilot. Pre-pilot pilot. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm happy with that. Um. So when we talked about this earlier, you mentioned a uh, a blog, or something like that. You said you're like, oh well, this is to be the test run for the blog. So like, is that what we're doing? Uh. I said I don't know we were texting I think you meant the, the podcast and I think oh, yeah, I yeah. think you I, also I keep... meant that we're going to start our own me and you or we're going to yeah. test it out yeah I mean I I keep calling it a blog because I think that was my my question is a podcast pretty much a blog yeah yeah I, I yeah. Remember, yeah, I remember I, I listened to one of the guys that was like one of the pioneers and I guess that coined the term podcast. And uh, I mean, we're basically blogging with our, you know, with, with sound now and then later videos. And I think that might be the difference. Between a blog and podcast is you know the video, the kind of radio talk talk show aspect of this. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, but I I'm, I'm looking back at the combo. So it was, I, I was like this. What we're what we're recording now is pretty much us talking about a podcast and yeah. What creating a podcast? What would we want to see that see? come out of that shit like uh it's difficult to say in in my mind and like getting into podcasting like uh, i've already thrown in this shit ton of money into it already like dove right in as usual and uh i don't know in in my mind like what i dream about is having like an audience and talk you know having interesting guests and uh, covering interesting topics and having interesting conversations and uh, you know what we'll begin with is going to be completely different than what I'm dreaming about 
but uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, you know, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I keep like I say, I keep putting blog instead of podcast when we're talking about it because. I mean, it feels like they're the same, but, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I, I always see something like, like even the blog, for instance, like you see what other people do and then yeah. it's almost like, how could I do this, but in a different form or yeah. in a different style or yeah, wh- wh- where you would take it. Yeah. That was kind of. Like if I were to do a podcast, you know, it will, I would want to do something a little different than what maybe it's a traditional. I don't want to say traditional, but you know, just kind of. I don't know. I I don't have a favorite podcast because I don't know why I don't have a favorite one. I, I they really all of them are really good, yeah. but it's just. I don't know if it's just the what you're in the mood for at the time. Yeah, but. yeah, definitely. It influences which one I pick. You know, when I'm at work. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I mean, I just barely. I flip flop, man. Sometimes I need to listen to music. Sometimes I need to listen to literature or podcasts. People talking. Yeah, yeah. So somehow combining the two, where I, know, I almost think I, I keep talking about like Beavis and Butthead, like uh-huh. you know how they how they watch videos, yeah, and then they then they go off into their life and they're fucking shit up, and then and they're watching videos again, <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. Should I? I uh huh. No, that was kind of like what I think a cool podcast would be. You know, just yeah, right. Be with some butt and some jams, and then be with some butt and some jams. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, I uh, I had a thought while while we we're talking about that is that uh, an, like one another reason uh, I was inspired to start any of this was um, uh, I'll be listening to the conversations and I want to join in. I want to add my two cents to it and like you know when you're just listening to it that doesn't happen you know you don't get to put out your ideas and have feedback and I think that's kind of where starting your own podcast slash blog would you know make that possible or we could we could chime in on the issues and uh, share our point of view and then share mm. it yeah no I mean like like Honestly, we could we could do a podcast on just Star Wars, and that yeah. could be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could be enough content to keep us busy for for years, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, so, I feel you. So I, I don't know. I guess it's being open to you know where it can go. Yeah. But uh, I know I just again not trying to. Do what's already been done. Yeah, well, we'll definitely be uh, stepping over some footprints of people before us, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, as the saying goes, like we all <clears throat> we all carry a a piece to the human puzzle. You know, oh. we all have our own perspectives, and it all kind of adds up to the human experience. Yeah. It's not just any one person. So uh, this is this is us putting our footprint out there. Nice, nice. <laughs> so uh, I mean, like right now, I mean, even doing it like me over here, you over there. Yeah. Versus, you know, trying to get us in the same spot. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty cool too. Uh, just because of how things are at the moment, you know, kind of. Yeah. Uh, when we had we had a conversation like maybe a month ago, or and it was like a, uh, it 
was a good conversation I needed to have. Yeah. But, you know, it wasn't the normal, you know, chilling. Yeah. You know, yeah. Roll up, you know, let's talk it out or chop it up, you know, literally with, by the wood, by the fire, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. And That's... just have, have a good discussion. Like, that's kind of not, uh, not an option right now. Yeah, it's kind of strange now. So for us to kind of still be able to have that same, you know, uh, discussion and shit um, over the phone, you know, I was like, damn, this is, I know we could, we could, because we've been talking about doing a podcast for a long time, or at least the art of starting one, you know, or yeah, having one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, well, just for the record, uh, what we're talking about is, like, if people hear this later, or my son gets to listen to it, or whoever, um, what is it? It's We're coming up on the end of June 2020. And it's still the, uh, the uh, I guess, pandemic. I don't know if you can call it that, because they're saying, you know, it's it's in line with just the uh, flu, but it's got its own thing going on, but uh, we're calling it a pandemic, and everybody's freaking out, and uh, that's why we're not in person. Like, I, I would prefer we're in person where I could look across the table and be like, oh, there's, there's Sky. There's my boy, and we're, you know, I get to laugh at the faces you make, too, instead of just the things you say. But, you know, <laughs> that's kind of not possible right now. Like, I, I think we I think we'll be able to pull it off soon, but, like, I like that we were willing to venture out and try this uh, with this setup so that it can get done now instead of keep putting it off, because I, th- I think we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... It's not ideal, but shit, like, there's no perfect time, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, excuse me, excuse me. I'm a little surprised. Like, I got the headphones on, and I'm listening to the actual feed from the recorder, and uh, I'm actually surprised. We, we got some pretty good quality, like, we're hitting the volumes better than I thought we would. You sound like you're about to record a rap album or something over the phone uh, right now. Yeah. A little Mac of Rama. Nice. Got, some, <laughs> got that beat. Yeah, ready. man. <laughs> about, to, about to drop that beat. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what else is good in the neighborhood? What else is good in the neighborhood? Uh, shit, almost inevitably, the uh, people are, you know, they're doing the opening up. Everybody's... Can't wait to open back up, you know, and uh, inevitably, as exactly as we all kind of figured it would play out, uh, I mean, I haven't checked the news lately, like the past day or two, I haven't looked at anything, but uh, the word is that it's, uh, we're getting the spikes again, Mm. you know, it's going back up, cases, COVID cases, and... uh, it's like, yeah, what else do you think is going to happen? We, we wanted to open up. Everybody's itching to get out of their houses and, you know, get get some daylight. Like, I haven't been out of my house, man. I've fucking been eating way too much fast food. Like, go to work, come home, and stay home. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of a... It's not a mundane. It's just sort of... Now we're, we're caged. We're in a cage. We're voluntarily being in a cage. Yeah. I, but it, but I understand why. So, but uh, what about uh? Did you hear about the? They're not doing the fireworks on a mile. No shit. They're not. They canceled it this year because of the COVID. So. Oh. Shit, I haven't I haven't made any preparations for uh Fourth July. For Fourth of July. Like my boy's birthday, his third birthday is on uh the second. Oh, 
Oh, yeah? I've been looking forward to that. And then my mom's like almost immediately after that on the 6th. So uh, then my sister's and then uh, Ava's. So we're... Uh, I haven't even been thinking 4th of July. Oh, wow. But fuck, in, in the past, man, I'd be sitting on the front of my car 10, 15 feet away from other people just watching the fireworks from afar, so... I don't know exactly how this makes sense, but maybe I just want some freaking fireworks on 4th of July. Nah, uh, I just think it's like kind of a pastime. Um, I don't know if it's just being from a AZ or... But I don't know how many times out of my 30-some years I've seen fireworks on a mountain, you know? Yeah. It's kind of... It's kind of part of the options. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. My, I remember one year it burned pretty bad. Yeah. So right now, with all that fires, other fires in Tucson, and oh, so I don't know. Maybe that's not. Uh, maybe it's okay that they didn't have it this year, but still shitty, you know. Yeah. It's still. Yeah. Still not good for morale. I uh I kind of feel like uh, there were a couple years where they canceled it because of like the fire hazard. I yeah. feel like this isn't the first time, but it's probably the first time in my memory of it ever being stopped over a virus. Wow. Almost quarantine or like are we actually quarantined right now? Not really. Like uh... I mean, my my only view of a quarantine is what you see in the movies, you know, like yeah, military trucks and checkpoints and you know, a heavy military and uh, I guess police force out and about. I'm not really seeing the difference. But yeah, I guess that's kind of like uh, I guess that's what makes it kind of dangerous too, is that. Uh, you know, you're not seeing the imminent and direct threat. You know, it's just kind of under the surface. Things are still kind of going on the way you're used to things going on. Minus, like, the big get-togethers and the concerts and restaurants. Yeah, the social closeness of... Yeah. Oh, it's... I mean, for me, it's just uh, kind of fucking with my routine. <laughs> and yeah. I gotta still figure out how to operate. But, uh, but you know, I think it's a little different compared, I mean, opposed to being maybe in this up there versus out here. I don't know. Is there a difference, would you say, or? You know, I've wondered that. Like, I've, I've gone down to Coldfields a couple of times in the uh, on the weekends. And the thing about out there is, like, you know, I'm usually just driving through cells. And then I'm going way out into the middle of the desert to our own house all by itself. And then I'm seeing the same people I, I do at these houses. And it's like, all right, nothing really seems different except... Maybe that my mom and my sister are sitting there making masks, you know, with a sewing machine. Mm. Like all day, like they'll just be sitting there just making them and making them. And that's not exactly normal. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, now that all this is going on, like, I, I want to know pre COVID and post COVID, like, have you taken to any kind of hoarding or uh, preparations differently? Like, is, has your view changed? Like, maybe before this has gone on, did you have any kind of preparations, or, you know, prepping that you've done in the past versus maybe, like, how you feel about it now? Uh, I... No, I think I just know like, um, like my family is, like, or kind of a unit, you know? So, yeah. like, we've all had to kind of compromise to be working together, but I, 
you know, with the whole toilet paper thing, I think, like, for a while it was kind of hard to get. So yeah. now it's like we're just making sure we're stocked up enough because <laughs> we're out here. Um, we but, out there, yeah. But I, I mean, every two weeks, I, like, I'll be the one to run into town, get whatever we need to get. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know that when they opened up, but still, um, we're still just, I'm, I'm still just distancing myself. You know, I, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, differently, no, I think with the, the Corona shit and then, then the Black Lives Matters, Fuck, yeah. um, movement with, you know, everything after, uh, Mr. Floyd, yeah, uh, passed, and you know, just all that, just kind of, just you know, shaped me more as far as like, you know, what I've had to deal with, and 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 kind of being, I don't know where do I stand in it all, and I don't know, I just. You know, with social media, everybody can have an opinion. Yeah. But if yeah, someone says something that you know fucking rubs you the wrong way, or or you're you're feeling different about how they said it, you know, you you can you can let your feelings get the best of you. So yeah, I just I just again just remembering that I'm I'm part of a unit of my family, so I kind of. You know where I think I'm, I'm more comfortable riding with them than than trying to go run off and protest or yeah you know but it's like it feels like I've been protesting <laughs> I mean I don't know it's just again like I said it brought up a lot of stuff yeah yeah you, you brought up quite a few issues that are going on and I wasn't even thinking we'd talk about George Floyd either but damn that's that's going on too like a lot's going on um well, we'll, for real, we'll yeah, for real. yeah I mean it's uh but I've been on my schedule so you know I go to work do my time go home chill out do my what I gotta do here yeah uh, you know it's like I'm on a routine I can't it's a it's, it's a it's a safe routine but like I had to cut out a lot of stuff yeah that's that, that that's that's another part of like what makes this kind of like unreal to me or surreal maybe uh huh is that uh you know the the major story going on in the news is all these people out of work, but like I've I've been working, and it sounds like you've been working while at the yeah. same time uh, my my baby's mama she's been uh, she's been out of work for months now, like almost like right off when this stuff got serious. Like she works as a in a nursery with kids and. You know, they're always contracting something and bringing it home and getting sick. And I think almost immediately when this stuff got real, they shut down. And that was, that was like the beginning of the year now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. We're already halfway through the year. And all yeah. this shit kicked off like the end of last year. It's crazy how time has already passed and we've just been rolling along here. You know, carrying on. And some places it's like freaking like a winter of death, and other places it seems like it's far away. Like, I, I keep hearing about cases on the reservation. Yeah, it, I mean it's hitting close. Pretty, I mean, in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure it might be in the village. Might be in the yeah. next next village over. 
I know it's on the reservation because they, they've been keeping track and there's like a my sister's been sending me uh I guess like updates from the tribe yeah I don't know if it's coming from, I don't know where it's coming from I think it might be the tribal TO nation website or something but she's been sending me statistics and the numbers have been increasing on on the Thanatum nation but at the same time uh I've been hearing you know the Navajo nation's getting it real bad yeah right it hit them first like it's interesting uh, a lot of the, well, a lot of the, the tribe don't have running water, you know, so that don't help. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sanitation's huge when it comes to this sort of stuff. Yeah, you know, I heard that Ireland, was it Ireland? They uh, they donated money to the Navajo Nation. What? Yeah, because I think it was the Choctaw, like back in the day when. Ireland was going through their pandemic, or I can't remember what 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 the, what it, that connection. The, the Choctaw donated money to them. It was like wasn't I mean it was like it was a lot back then, but now I think it was like a hundred and some. It was like not too much, but I thought that was pretty uh, like powerful, you know. Um, but I, yeah, I just hope it, it, we take care of it and move on. But, uh, for now it's just, like I said, you know, just kind of thinking about everybody versus just thinking about yourself. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but yeah, it does everything that has changed, you know, like socially. Yeah. You know, like you're you're required to wear a mask pretty much everywhere, and you know, that's kind of weird. I've noticed now. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just funny because it's like the other day I was wearing a handkerchief, and you know, I had it wrapped around my face, and I could have just, you know, been a, I could have been a bandit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it was it's awkward, but you know. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Um they I guess the latest thing in Tucson, maybe maybe the state, I don't know, is that the uh you can get fined. Oh yeah. I, I didn't think I hear heard arrest, but I think oh. I heard fined. You can be fined for being out in public without a mask on. <laughs> And what's funny is I, I go out regularly to go to work, and when I head out, I don't uh, I don't reach for the mask, you know. I get my shoes on, get my clothes on, and you know get ready to lock up, get my wallet, but I don't get the mask, you know. Yeah. And I showed up to work last night, and I'm just walking up like normal, no mask, and I'm looking around, and I started seeing people, and they're looking at me, and I'm like, oh, I didn't bring a freaking mask. Luckily, my my job they provide that. You know, they got a box full of little masks that you can get. And I try to get one whenever, but like to walk from my car into work, into the office where I grab the mask. There's this new vibe, you know, this whole like, oh, I don't, I didn't get my mask. Like, oh no, and really, like, when's that ever been the case? Uh, and like uh. to look around and like everybody has a mask and say. Say I cough, because maybe I have allergies that day. I cough or sneeze. Suddenly, yeah. every, everybody's like, oh, fuck, this, he's got it, he's got it. Get away! Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's fear. You can see the fear in people's eyes. Nah, you're the dickhead fucking up the... Yeah, right? There, <laughs> Risking right? everybody's life, what a, what a dick. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's... We're, we're almost like sizing everybody up yeah yeah um looking for flaws right almost being but almost kind of being like ju judging yeah and uh even if it's positive or you're still you're still concerned about i don't know i mean just you know because i think because i'm 
I don't want to say I'm around it a lot, but I it's discussed a lot where I'm at. At, so, at the office there, or what? At my work, yeah. So it's more, uh, how would you say? How do you yeah, say I, that? I mean, it's discussed more to where you're like, people are, you don't know where that other person's been, you yeah. know, so it's, so it's like everybody's, I mean, that's why we're wearing the gloves, and are we, it's, I don't know, I don't really see people talking about gloves anymore, but, Shit. Uh, the mask for sure, and the, the sanitizer, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's just, Everybody's kind of like screening each other. It's yeah, yeah, they're on edge. Like that, that, that all changed. Yeah. But I mean, I, I got to talk to some people who are like not really worried as much. You know, they're 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 good. I mean, but. Well, well, I guess yeah. I don't know how to feel about it sometimes yeah well, well let's discuss that like when in the beginning let's say uh january like i don't i, I think that the name had been getting passed around by then i don't remember if it was full-blown like you know everybody's grabbing mask everybody's grabbing toilet paper like uh that was a weird one the toilet paper but um, in the beginning, like, how for you in the office, like, say the first day you you got you became aware of it, like, oh, you heard of the name COVID nineteen or coronavirus, and then you go into the office the next day after that or whatever, like, what was it like in the beginning for you, like? Were you even sure or scared, you know? Like, was it, were other people scared in the beginning when you, when you first heard about it? What, what, what were people saying? Man, it seems so long ago, but. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was just, it, it, it seemed like for a moment there that it was only on the eastern coast area, yeah. you know? Yeah, it, so, it wasn't here. It wasn't here, it was there. Yeah, so there was a little bit of a... We're being precautious and we're being safe. Yeah. So, um, you know, but now since it's, like I said, it's hitting a lot closer, you know, it's just more... But then things have opened up, you know, there was a holiday yeah. a few weeks, weekends ago, you know, like people are out protesting, so it's just... Yeah, that's some shit to see, too. Um, it's not, uh, I don't want to say it wasn't managed or it could have been managed better, but, um, you know, I think from where I was at, I was more just watching it kind of spread. <laughs> I mean, it's, it was predicted, but, um, it's almost like when you see a tidal wave and you're kind of like, you know, how do I, yeah, what is best, that? What, what, what is that? How do I best secure myself for this impact? You know, that's going to happen regardless. Yeah. It's coming. Uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, I, you know, you don't, you don't want to get sucked into the media because then that yeah. that's almost like dictating how you feel. Um, so I noticed that I kind of like as it kind of grew, I cut myself off from um, the media of it. I mean, I still watched what I watched, but yeah, it was like when like they started closing stuff. You know, like this is real. You know, then it was like. And you wanted to watch the news and see what people were saying, but yeah, you know, after a while, it was, I mean, it's. I I, I wish I, when I get older, man, I don't want to watch TV. <laughs> 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 uh, but you know, I just because I always knew that the media was a. 
I don't know. Is the media our friends or are they our fucking... Shit. Or they want something from us, you know? And, like, we're doing this now, but... Is podcasting media, you know? I don't know, but... Uh, it's definitely media. But media in the sense of, like, you know, we go here to get news and information and shit. Yeah. But... Is it, is it real? You know, because then, then people start talking about conspiracies and, and, and it becomes something. Uh, and then our president don't help. You know. No, absolutely and, not. No. With legit, like legitimizing the pandemic, it's kind of a joke. So, you know, it's. Yeah, I think those are from the get go, right? I mean, those are factors that like. Like what's happening, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, it it, it, it kind of takes away from its seriousness. Mm. It's like, uh, how can it be real if this jackass is making fun of it? You know? And yeah. Then, and then it got worse, and then it got more serious, worse and worse, and it's like, uh, I, I'm one of those guys that goes around like, oh, I'm, I trust my immune system, like. If I get cut uh, in the hand, I'll, I'll wash it, but I'm good. Like, I'm not throwing a Band-Aid out. I'm not, you know, soaping it up and getting all worried about it. I'm not I'm not that type of guy. But, like, like say, hey, the flu's going around. I'm not running out and getting a flu shot. But, it, you know, it's out there. And I'm aware of it. And then this came around, and I kind of had the same approach. Like, ah, it's nothing. And then I think... I think what did it was I had stopped watching the news entirely. Like, I just wasn't interested. Like, most of the time there's so much, like, bullshit being put on or, like, uh, you know, they're they're showing their side of the story and they're trying to, like, get you to lean their way and think their way. Yeah. Depending on whatever station you're watching. So, like, I always feel like, ah, they're a bunch of bullshit artists now. You know, a bunch of con men just kind of easing people to see it things their way you know and then uh so i kind of i kind of cut it off and i don't even really watch tv anyway most of the time i'm like watching movies or whatever on like netflix or prime or hulu and uh um i remember i went home to the res and i was at my parents house and they watched the news all the time and just kind of randomly I, I, I sat down and watched with them and I think what made it real was they were showing the video of like uh, I think I think the announcement the count was like New York yeah, 18,000 dead something like that it was yeah. the, was the announcement and they were showing the mass graves and I think they were showing like refrigerated trucks outside of hospitals cuz they were at capacity inside you know, bodies getting hauled around, bodies being buried, and I was just like, holy fuck, I didn't know it was that bad. Like, holy hell. Yeah. Holy shit, you know? And for the most part, I had been home, but when I went to work <clears throat> that night after that, and I was like, holy fuck, maybe this is real. Then I started getting the shifty eyes, you know, and my eyes were darting around, and I'm looking at people and watching how they touch stuff or whatever, and... Uh, I remember I went into work and we had hand sanitizers and all that around and that's when I started scrubbing the machines I use like I, I share machines with a whole bunch of people in the store like whoever needs it comes and grabs it and then I come in at night and it's you know been used all day and I use it up and then whoever comes after me uses it and it's like that's when I was like I was scrubbing hard like just scrubbing the phone and letting the alcohol dry longer and you know, washing my hands, and I, I don't know if you ever did, like, a uh, food handler's class. Yeah, yeah. And they, they cover, like, cross-contamination, where, you know, uh, you touch, say you touch the meat, and then you go the touch chicken. the refrigerator door, yeah, the yeah. chicken, and now your refrigerator door handles like that, and then you go and touch the, the veggies that don't get cooked, so, like, they just got raw bacteria on them from the meat, and then it's like, all right, I, I cleaned that. But really, you just carried it to two or three other places, and every time you go back, you're picking it up again. Yeah. And uh, that day, I was fucking panicking. Like, I, my heart, as I was scrubbing stuff, my heart started racing. 
And I started, you know, getting the shifty eyes. And l luckily, I, I work outside the store in the garden. And uh, I was out there on scrubbing shit. And I started thinking about that, like the contamination. And at some point, I just realized, like, unless you're carrying, you know, a bottle of hand sanitizer in your pocket, you got gloves on, you got the mask, you got the like wipes, you got paper towels, you got the sand, sand, like the spray sanitizer, and you're just constantly washing. Like I'll, I'll probably be washing more than I'm working at some point like if you really sit down and start thinking about the cross contamination like how it, how it works how it travels mm. you really can't win there's no real safety like like say that was some scary shit uh the first one of the first days after shit got real and I took my boy with me to the grocery store ah. and like I was like alright I'm gonna scrub this shit out of the spot where he sits so I'm sitting there, and, like, I'm rubbing all the bars where I'm like, all right, he's going to touch this, he's going to touch this. And then halfway through the trip to the store, he wanted out, or he climbed out and jumped into the basket, and then he's touching all the edges on the basket, and I'm just like, no, so let me wipe that. Oh, let me wash, wash your hands. Oh, don't touch your face. Like, oh, don't do this. And I'm freaking out, and I'm like, now it's real. Now I'm, now I'm sitting there, and I'm like, it's all it's all contaminated, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, like, there's no honest way, there's no feasible way that we're doing really good at keeping stuff clean. So, I think now I've kind of like at work, like I'm still working, and I'm kind of at the point where I'm touching stuff, and I'm okay with it. And I'm just acknowledging in the back of my head that, hey, maybe I have it on my hands right now. And as long as I wash my hands before I go to the bathroom, before I eat, after the bathroom, you know, like, before I wipe my face or whatever, like, I'm washing my hands. And it's like, all right, I'm going to walk around and touch a bunch of stuff, and I know this shit's probably on there. Like, they do... Uh, we go out and do cart grabs when we go collect all the carts in the parking lot. And I'm just like, if you really let yourself go there in your head, like, all right, how much of this has actually been touched by how many people? Yeah. It's staggering and fucking frightening. And if you let yourself really go there, man, it's terrifying. You get kind of, you'd have to curl up into a ball and die. You know, there's like no escaping how easily like it's understandable how these hot spots keep happening because it's like you get a bunch of people together suddenly we're all touching the same shit and we're all touching uh, our faces 200 times a minute you know yeah no it's it's freaky i mean in basketball you like you want you want them up and up in their grill. Yeah. You know, kind of. <laughs> Breathing their oxygen. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of. Fuck. Not, not what we're going for right now, so. Yeah. Uh, just kind of letting that, that D slack. <laughs> yeah, just half ass <laughs> G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not good for sports right now, COVID 19. It's not uh, good for sports. Yeah, I mean, even the fucking, like, I'm not, I'm not a big football fan. Uh -huh. um, I don't have a team or, I mean, U of A football, but, oh, like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, NFL season, I'm not really, I'm not as hyped as some people. No offense, but just more. Like, that's, that's important. And and they took it away, it just sort of, I think that kind of killed the buzz for, yeah, yeah, that killed the, like, I mean, even for me, you know, like. Yeah, you felt it. Yeah, I was like, fuck, man, like. My grandma, she's all about the Steelers, and, you know, like, 
I'll go for the Steelers because, you know, that's my grandma's team. So, like, you know, but no Steelers is... Well, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I guess what is your opinion on, like, a vaccine or... Shit. Cure, like... Fuck. Do you think... How long do you think it's going to be... Dude. This... Or is it going to stay like this? You know, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And one of the things that kind of clicks is uh, any kind of footage I ever see of... I'm pretty sure both China and Japan, you watch any kind of news footage, even if it's not about this. Like, I'm, I'm, I know it involves uh, smog and all that. Like the air quality, so like you watch, you watch footage and people are walking around with masks, like it's nothing, like that's normal for them. And for me yeah. here, it's like, alright, that's not normal. Like I don't want to be there. I don't want this to become the new norm. But like I went there in my head, and it's like that. That's a scary thought. Like, I mean, they say this is kind of like the flu, or it's like a yeah. common. I guess a coronavirus is actually common. Yeah. Like, I, I do remember long before this, you know, reading the back, like, the asterisk on the bottom of, like, uh, some sanitizer wipes. And in the asterisk, it says, oh, well, this kills coronavirus and, and this and that, yeah. E. coli and all that, 99.99. Yeah. So it was like, this existed already. But now, at some point, it's been brought to light, and people are aware of it, and people are dying, and now, you know, everybody's scared, damn near terrified. And, uh, yeah, I've heard the statistics on how long, you know, like, our, here in the United States, we have all these uh, programs and protocols to follow, you know, with the FDA and whoever, like, even if, say, they say, all right, we got something that works, we have a vaccine that's not going to make it to us so fast because there's all these protocols to follow and, like, testing. Yeah, yeah. And, like, long-term effects that they got to watch and measure and present before it can actually be approved. And, fuck, man, that's that could be months to years away, you know? And yeah. So as far as vaccine goes, I don't know. Like, I hope at some point it comes along and maybe this will just become like another footnote like the mumps or the measles or chicken pox you know something that we used to get or be afraid of for our kids for ourselves for our elderly you mm -hmm. know we'd be terrified of it but then here we are we got a vaccine now it becomes something you take care of as a kid you get your shots you know as a baby and then it's no longer something they worry about, you know, your parents worry about. So if if it goes that way and we get we get the cure, or whatever, it could be a long ass time and people are gonna continue dying. And with this whole reopening, you know, the numbers are gonna jump again. And I I, I worry about down the road, like every year, every year, the flu is here. And it just is, you know, every, everybody's advertising flu shots. Everybody's saying, wash your hands. And, you know, kids are walking around, snot dripping out of their faces. They're touching their faces. They're, you know, face to face with all their friends. And it's normal. That's always been normal as long as I can remember the flu, the flu season. So could we get used to this? Definitely. Is there a cure? Maybe possibly in the future that you know seems so far away right now I'm I'm a little freaked out that you know so far because I've been able to continue working I've been able to you know pay my rent keep buying food you know kicking money down to my baby's mama just being okay yeah, there's yeah. Plenty, there's plenty of other people that are just fucking terrified and worried about their future. And they're, you know, my neighbor. You know, they're my neighbors. They're people you see every day at work. 
people on the road, whatever, like everybody's scared. And it's not, you know, it's not all coronavirus. Maybe it's money scared. Finan- yeah. Financial terror. You know, worried about the future. Maybe maybe people were smart enough to have money put away, and now they're spending that. You know, they're dipping into their savings to try and survive and get by. And I just think it's scary. Like, what, what do you think? You think this is... Uh, the new norm. What 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 are your thoughts on it? Uh, you know when when everything was starting to go and uh, you know people were going home and yeah, are working from home and and all I was you know kind of wondering if you know maybe uh I might get let go or yeah. I might uh, lose my job, but uh, I I was lucky enough to where I did it, and I just kept going. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, if none of this happened, this whole virus pandemic stuff didn't happen, and you know, I'll still be working, doing what I needed to do. So I I keep going back to that frame of mind to where I know. Again, working around this shit, still figuring out like what were the goals before COVID, you know? Yeah. I just using COVID as a fucking blinder to where you were going before. Cause yeah. If this is the new norm, then you know it's like again, like well, what were we working on before this all happened? So I, you know, I'm just like, damn, thank God I got a job. You know, yeah. Uh, but um, as far as that, you know, I think I'm, you know, talking on the phone more. Yeah. It's normal, you know, more gonna be the norm. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, but I, yeah, I think there's like some extremes that might need to happen. I don't know. I, you know, I, I do want to get back to like um, coaching and yeah, and figuring out a way to be working with the, with the team. Yeah, that'd be nice. So I'm sure they miss you. I'm hopeful, man. I'm hopeful. I miss them. You know, it's like we were going good. You know, we were. We had things planned for this summer, and and it just, you know, it didn't happen. So. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Uh, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's. Again, it's like. I got a job. Uh. You know, I still. Can, I mean, I, I'm kind of lucky enough to where I didn't fully get. Well, it's not so bad. Out, that's why I said, like, out here on the res, you know, it's, we are already kind of distant socially. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh. Went to hermit camps. And I can still go to work and, and kind of have a routine. So I. Yeah. I know some of the, some kids like you're just home. You know they can't go to town. Or some people that just been home. You know just obeying. Uh, it's getting boring. You know so. Yeah. You know I kind of have a little bit of a, a little bit of uh, extra boundaries to go on. So I. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm making do with what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting talking about uh, the beginning. Um, I remember my baby's mama. She was uh, she was like, "All right, we're shutting down." And it was very early on. And I was just like, "Oh, good, good. That's cool. Like, good. Like, it's gonna be taken care of. Don't gotta worry about you." 
I'm gonna worry about the kids. And then uh, they're like, she's like, oh, we're we're gonna get two weeks pay, and then we're gonna be off probably two months. And I was like, oh, that's cool, like good, good. That sounded like a lot of money. I was like, all right, good. There, you're gonna have that. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be taken care of. This is gonna last you. And now, you know, we're going on months. And I, I remember in the beginning, I was, uh, I was scared. Like, not not scared. I, I was like, I was a little jealous. I was like, oh, man, like, she gets to be home with the kids, you know, off of work, do her own thing, maybe make up for lost time or whatever, catch up on some shows, you know, get some sleep. Yeah. And I was a little jealous. Like, I was, I was you know, going to work, and I was just like, man, I got to be out here. And I thought, I really thought in the beginning that the fucking, the store would just be deserted. And we'd just be there, you know, twiddling our thumbs and, you know, nothing to do. The show's all stock, but nobody buying it. And, um, and I was thinking, you know, fuck, I, I want some time off. They got time off. They locked out and I'm at work. But, you know, fucking the end of that month, when the money was gone... And I was still working. I was like, wow, that two weeks pay wouldn't have been enough. You know, it didn't, it's not going to last here. And now, like, you know, in the beginning, I was jealous that I, that I wasn't not working. Mm. And then it turns out I'm, like, grateful and I'm, like, hopeful that I can continue to work while at the same time it's like, like I, I was like, damn, I'm glad I didn't go to work. Like, when I really started thinking, all right, what if I get some time off? Like, the store started saying, hey, if you get involved in all this, if, it, if you get contagious or something, you get sick, we're going to offer two weeks pay off, you know, paid time off. I was like, oh, that's fantastic. Let's go for that. Let's try and get that. And then as, as the time got close where I started talking to my boss, like, I, I was actually kind of sick before this started I had like some bronchitis going on from like working in all the dust that I'm working yeah and uh, I was already thinking alright I'm gonna take some time off cause I'm fucking sick and um, when that time got close and I was like alright I'm gonna request time then my mind, it finally became clear and my mind went back to it and was like uh, fuck if I do get this two weeks off and say this shit keeps going, am I going to be allowed to come back to work? Am I going to be able to continue making money? Or am I just going to be off indefinitely? And that, that was some scary shit to think about. Yeah. So, I can only imagine what other people that aren't working right now are fucking going through. It must be terrifying. Yeah, no, I mean, that's like that. When people are under stimulus check, and people were yeah like, I'm glad you brought that up that's not anything. I mean it's thousand dollars isn't what it used to be <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's just kind of you know the money makes the world go round so yeah uh, fuck it yeah I know it just sucks that we're not, we're not that country to be like, I don't know, everybody's kind of on their own. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, not, I, I mean, it's a little different out here on the nation, like, like, uh, our community, they've been giving out, like, telepapers and, yeah, I mean, just, just different things that, you know, we might be needing. But like I don't. I mean that's it's a little different. I don't know if it's like that everywhere else, you know, where someone's looking out for you like that. I hope so, for for those that need it. Yeah. Um, I've heard plenty of stories. But I. I don't know. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I got. We've been on a on a roller coaster. Yeah, we have, uh, this this is 
I didn't think this would go. I didn't think this would go this way. Fuck the COVID, man. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm done with them for today. Yeah, I I I think we covered a good chunk of it. We hit hit capacity. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. Well, we actually (laughs) like we actually just hit an hour. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, the recording's an hour long right now. That's fucking great. And I've enjoyed this already, man. It's a pretty, pretty good start. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, if, What's that? like, like, let, let's go back to the idea of this podcast. Like, uh, already we we covered this. Like, um, how, how about this? Uh, do you have any particular? Subjects that you think we should cover in the future, and maybe uh, can you think right now of any guests that you might want to hear on here that you think we could actually get? Like mm-hmm. I, I'm starting to realize how clear we've been able to record over the phone like this, mm-hmm. and I think you know to make it three-way. easier, huh? Say so you want a three-way this? <laughs> <laughs> Menage <a> toi. <laughs> I don't know if this is how you pronounce it, but uh, menage a trois. <laughs> Try to just uh, pop one off, huh? <laughs> get the get the orgy going. Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm just saying, like the doing it this way, like uh, like yes, I would prefer it be in person, me and you. Um. I've been going through the configurations that we could set up to record for, you know, two to four people. Uh-huh. And uh, I think now that we've proven, I think we've proven, like, through this, that uh, we could do this over the phone. Like, I would yeah. prefer in person, but the fact that this is working, I don't I don't know if we could do, like, like a conference call, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean... I, figure it out somehow but yeah. um yeah I, uh, who else they could I mean I know those uh those Isaiah and Matt uh-huh. Darren um and DJ that I know they would be um interested in wanting to share and talk yeah. but well, we, stuff. if we did a group like that, I could I could throw a different mic on this thing. We could get like a a big, uh, I, I think it's called like a room mic or something like that. Like it, it's shaped like a globe and it's supposed to pick up like a large open room. Uh-huh. We could probably do, uh-huh. a, do a group thing like that. And then the only struggle would be to set up headphones yeah. so that we could all hear it. Because that, I think that's important. You could hear your feedback and adjust your uh-huh. voice to, you know, from what you hear, like right now, I got the headphones and I, I'm hearing our levels, so I kind of set them as we went along here. But nice. uh, so, so you think those guys would be a good guess? I, I was thinking about uh, Juan Buendia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like he's quickly rising in the, in the uh, I don't know what in the ranks, on the res. Oh yeah, in, in res sure. government. And I, I I don't know what his title is right now. I think I think he's in. Education, South so, District. Oh wait. Well, well, he's involved with the district, but I think he's also oh, yeah, he's involved on the with school the school board. Now. Yeah, the school board. So, just just like you, like I'm interested in people in our age group that uh, I remember seeing in school and then finding out how they've stepped up and taken over positions of government and uh, like educators. There's quite a few of us. Like you're, you're coaching. You know, you're you're teaching these kids uh, great life skills. And I'd just be interested to see how Juan got that far. Like where where what steps he took that got him there, and uh, maybe what he's being exposed to on the board. Oh okay. Um, yeah. That'd and, be cool. Yeah, just 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 as like kind of news. Like I, I like the idea of having local information or reservation information pert, pert, stuff pertinent to the reservation like our own uh, like the runner yeah you know what I'm saying like they kind of cover what's going on 
Man, I, I'd like to have some guests like that. Um, tell me this. I, I, I randomly met this dude at a bar. Like, I, I, I wound up approaching him and talking to him because, like, in this bar, like, everybody was dressed, you know, chill, laid back, relaxed. Like, everybody, you know, had their groups and they're all drinking, whatever, the bar, getting kind of loud, you know, having their brews. And this one guy sitting at the bar had this tweed jacket on with the elbow patches and all that. Like a, ah. Looked like a professor. And I, I asked him about it. I was like, hey, well, you know, you get just getting off of work or something at the school, you know, professor. <laughs> and uh, turns out he was an uh, uh, archaeologist. And turns out he's the, the archaeologist that... Uh, when they find the remains, like whenever they do like construction on the border, on the res- uh, on our res on the reservation, whenever they find remains or artifacts, he's called out there. And he said his responsibility oftentimes is when they collect remains, it's his responsibility to examine them, catalog them, and then return them to the to the nation. And I, and I asked him right there, point blank, when I was still, I, was, I, didn't, I really didn't even have a podcast to speak of, but I was like, hey, uh, I've got a little bit of a podcast I'm kicking out. Would you be interested in joining in on that? And uh, I got his card. Oh, yeah? So I, I've been thinking about having a talk with him, you know, with the border construction going on in the res. Yeah. So there's another guest that I would like to have on. That might be fun. Might not be. I don't. I don't know. The guy seemed like he had his own thing going on. <laughs> uh, I mean, again, it's like I'd be, I'd be down. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of who else mm-hmm. or what else. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm into time travel. That's my thing. Dude. Uh, that, that, uh, that's, we're going to have to have a whole episode on that. Like, uh, let's see here. I'm going to write that down. Time travel. Time travel. That's because, uh, I've got plenty to say on that. Um, uh, that's pretty cool. A- ancient aliens too. I mean, we got to talk about aliens. Uh, oh yeah. I just, um, I can do some aliens. Yeah. And, uh... Well, well, here's the question. Uh, how often you want to do this? Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I would like it if we get in a routine. Or yeah. at least yeah. uh, uh, an agreement of like maybe four or five or then go from there when we get them done and so knock, knock out five, like make that the earliest goal? Yeah, at least like at. consistently. Yeah. Maybe once a week or. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking once a week. I, I don't know if that's too. Uh... I think I could. I, I think we could try it. Um, yeah. Uh, like, is it too bold? Too, too much too soon? Or can we pull it off? And I, I think we can pull it off. I mean, just you're, a conversation I, like this. I don't know. I guess can you do the? I'm not worrying. I'm not doing any of the production. That's what's up. So you're saying you're free. So I mean, you got. If you can't handle what's on your plate, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then slow down. You know? Whoa. <laughs> Take it it's easy. Like, then why'd you bite off too much? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> if we set up this time and it's the time, then yeah, let's, let's make it a, a a mark on the calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, so the actual sit down recording, uploading on the internet, which I think we're we're basically planning on doing, right? We're trying to do like a YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Whatever you, uh, there's all kinds of different platforms. So, yeah, YouTube is you know, just as good as any. I, I think YouTube keeps things easy. 
There's no member. Yeah. You know, there's no membership. There's just YouTube. You give an address to somebody on the phone. They click on it and automatic. Like most, most everybody already has YouTube on their phone, on their TVs, and we can just. I I don't I don't. To that note, I don't really plan on like just giving out the URL or anything like that. But I just thinking down the road. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? um, like like I would like to put it online, no matter what. And then I really don't care if we have an audience in the beginning. Yeah, I think there's a lot of different um, ways to go about it. But for now, YouTube is, that's pretty, um, what do you call it? Like just cut and paste. Um, yeah. And then you could post those other places too. Yeah. Or, I just think or about like. Links. I just think about like the audio. Like if it, yeah, well, I, I um, think I think this proves we got something. Like I, I can hear your voice and my voice, and I tried to set them. No, I mean the audio, similar. like the audio, like if someone wants the audio only. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and they can't really get it. They only can, unless they turn their video into an MP3, which is kind of extra work, but. Yeah. Um, huh. But I don't know. Interesting. We'll see. Like if someone says to me, "Where can I get it on audio?" Then it might. Oh, okay. Well, but I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So, uh, mm. um, yeah. I don't know. Somewhere down the line, I'd like to maybe throw it on SoundCloud or yeah, okay, or some other um, option. We, we'll, we'll expand to whatever platform makes it kind of readily available. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, as far as like topics, you know, I uh, I know this may be some of our our adventures, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Our, our, uh, and maybe some, just some, maybe some school stories. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Fuck, dude. Ghost stories. Yeah. Those. Scary, scary shit that's happened in the desert. Like. Yeah. Uh. Wrestling. <laughs> Uh, sexually? What? I said, what, sexually? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, uh, professionally, WWE. Okay. WWF, WCW, WWE. Oh, you're, you're taking the old school, huh, WWF? Yeah. I mean, I guess WWE. I mean. Well, that's what I remember. That That's the, uh, only, way, that's the only way I'd be able to add any kind of. Two cents on that. Yeah. Old guy. I'm an old guy over here. Uh, film. I know we can talk about film. Oh, dude. Movies uh, out all day. You all gotta day. do a, a one on just smoke signals. Oh, dude. Right, we'll break that down and just kind of. I, I would love that. Maybe, maybe a little bit on Sherman Alexi. Yeah, yeah. I would love um, that. Writing, dude. Writing, writing is a good subject we could talk about. Um, I like that. The smoke signals. That that's definitely a uh, an episode. And I, you know, I, I'd be I'd be hard pressed if people haven't seen it yet. I, I, uh, I, yeah, there's some people that haven't. I, I kind of wonder how it's kind of uh, taken by the outside world. Like I like as a native and grow up on the res, I see that and it's like, man, the I I am those people. I know those people. Yeah. I've met these people. Like, the, you know, not literally, but like, the, these are real people. I, I know people just like that. Like that 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 would be a great episode. Oh. Yeah. I. I mean, I just a lot of good. Uh... I don't know. I mean, 
there's like you can talk about the book, the story, or the adaptation. Yeah. Or like boozing, you know? I don't know. It's just a shit of it. Yeah. Shit, we could have booze stories, like all kinds of shit to pull from that. Yeah. Um. I think I'd like to interview my mom and my dad separately. Ah. Uh, they've they've uh, both been in the army and they both had totally different experiences. While at the same time they kind of went to the same places and had a different view of what they were. Mm. And then, the, you know, my mom grew up in Ohio and my dad grew up down here in Arizona, so that's a whole other thing. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I... I, uh... I mean, I can just think of, you know, even bringing some characters from you know, my village. Yeah. yeah. You know, just somebody that wants to sit in and just kind of... Yeah, exactly. Uh touch the mic you know <laughs> yeah right just throw in their two cents yeah no I, I like that like uh, I think having a conversation is better hell between two people instead of me and the as the way I was doing it before just talking to the universe oops uh, I think that's my alarm saying go to work but that was yeah I go that's, that's my normal time I, I, I got like an hour later this time uh, but yeah, but yeah I, I think this works a lot better with guests. I already feel a lot more comfortable having your feedback and giving feedback. Like it's way better. Uh huh. So the more we can we can test that dynamic with me and you, and then me, you, and somebody like a guest. I think this uh, this could shape up to be something pretty badass. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. I, I think so. I think I think you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, even my bro. Yeah. Uh, I think he would be funny. Yeah, I've, I've been uh, Ron, Ronnie James. He's he's a he's a character. Uh, yeah, I mean, I some of my friends. Uh, I don't know. Like, I think my friend Marion. I think she'll be pretty interesting. Man. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think um, anybody can tell stories, you know. So I think yeah, if we can yeah. find somebody that has a uh, enough enough to talk about something, then yeah, yeah, um, let's get them down. Let's get them in here. Or get them a part of this, but yeah. Either way, I mean, even just talking like this is pretty cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of learned some some things about how how you were experiencing the last few few months and yeah, uh, shit. But uh, I. Uh, yeah, I know. I think if we like kind of talked about it beforehand, that topic, and maybe had some guarantee like stories we would tell. Yeah. A kind of like shape a uh, episode. But, yeah. Like I mean, even mention, just, hey, this is what we're gonna talk about, and then just kind of go into it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like free balling it, opposed yeah. to free balling it, and just trying to come up with stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, even today, like, I knew we were going to do this, but I, I was like, what are we going to talk about? Yeah, I, I just kicked back, and as we started, I was just sitting here like, uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about. It just kind of shaped yeah. itself. Yeah, I mean, today I did, but, like, I guess yeah, kind of keep doing it, yeah, kind of. Yeah, as, as it goes on. But, yeah, no, I had time travel, and. Yeah, I, I got that written down right smoke here. smoke signals, those are, like. No, those, those, sure. are, those are great, great, uh, great subjects. We'll definitely cover them. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be interested to see how this turns out. 
Well, I, I think we got something here. I think I think we're on the right path. And as we as I think I think what we're definitely gonna have to develop is is the uh, technology, how uh, how we're gonna record it, how we're gonna incorporate a third person. I got the stuff for it, but it has uh, parameters. It has stuff that like limit limitations. Yeah. Like for more than one person, I think we're gonna have to start being in person. Uh, or uh. or me and you in person, and then have somebody on the phone. I think it's how it would have to do, how it would mm. have to go. I wonder how, I just, uh, I don't have a good, I don't have an instrument, but I, I have a guitar, but it's kind of out of tune. Uh, How's that sound? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I can hear it clearly. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be cool. If we did music too. Oh, I would love that. Uh, you know what I've been freaking out is about these bands that are doing like shows on, like, they're on separate places, but they're playing in sync. Like, yeah, do they? I haven't seen that. I mean, yeah. Maybe is it just because you got shitty Wi-Fi out here, or our internet connection is? sucky out here that I don't think I'll be able to do that shit like play with the band together cause I don't know you know what I mean is that you think that I I don't hear a delay I don't I don't think we got a delay like I, I've been trying to be on uh, I think messenger I was talking with my buddy earlier and uh, shit, shit kept breaking up having all kinds of audio issues like I'll, I'll be talking and then He'll respond, but all I hear is like a robot voice, hmm. or like a twang or something. It just sounds weird. But so far, we we got good audio. I think louder instruments we'd have to adjust and all that. But I th- I think we, I think we can we can overcome. I think we can pull this off. Right on, right on, right on. Well, uh, uh, let's wrap this up, man. I I think we got, I think we got it. You got it. Yeah, I think this is a really good start. Um, I would like to send you copies, like to review. So that'll probably be the first thing I work on is uh, getting that, getting that going, like an easy way, like maybe email or something like that. We, we gotta figure out how big this file is, and I'll send it to you. All uh, right. All right. So do you have any closing yeah. closing words to the first episode here? You got anything? Uh, to, anything no, to just say? keep on trucking. Yeah, yeah. Keep on trucking and catch you on the flip side. The flip side of quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, have a good evening. Yeah, you too, brother. Thanks for doing this. I had a, I had a fucking good time, and I'm really looking forward to talking about time travel and smoke signals, so... Uh, Again, man, thanks for doing this. It came out really good, and uh, we'll be in touch. All right, bro. Well, have a good day at work. Yeah, I will, bro. All right, peace, bro. Peace. Hang up. All right, later. Later. Sweet. That was a great episode.